fucked up YouTube. Another honey badger video. Um, this was about seven grams of. Oh, it was a mix of trim. Uh, it was given to me by a friend of mine who who actually ran quite a bit. I think he did over 50 grams. And uh, he wanted me to run a few processes on some of it for him, so he gave me about seven grams, and uh, I gave it a dual solvent, no winterization, so you actually keep the flavor. And as he, when he gave it to me, it was uh, it was very Im improperly purged, so you know I cut it with the ethanol, let it chill for a sec. I didn't refrigerate it. I didn't restrain it again after refrigeration. I basically just got any particulates out and uh, added the dual solvent and then purged off. And yes, it's on a silicone baking mat. And yes, I've gone to Cole Palmer or Cole Porter or whatever the hell the website is with the material and solvent compatibility test. And yes, I, I saw that butane and silicone don't play well. Um, they only had one type of silicone on there, which I don't agree with. But that's another conversation. Um, so this was just ethanol. There wasn't there wasn't any N-butane in this. It had already been purged. But the funny part was is when my friend gave it to me, it was basically a honeycomb consistency. And basically what he did was a half-ass purge that wasn't even thorough at all. I mean maybe a half hour. Um, and then he just basically scraped it all up because he had to go. He was in a rush and he left it in a pool. It was basically like a 50 gram puddle for, I don't know, three days. And uh, yeah, when we broke it in half, it was complete honeycomb. So there you go. Improper purge, crap ton of butane left in it, and I got honeycomb consistency. So for all you people who say that honeycomb is the best, I respectfully disagree. And uh, this stuff is actually pretty much done. It's been on here overnight. And you can see it's got, you know, the fruit roll up effect. Just. And it just breaks. As soon as it cools, it just completely turns to dust. Well, not dust, but, you know, flakes, it shatters. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's just about it. I'll let you know uh, exactly what the weight was afterwards, because I know before I started it was probably about 7.1 maybe, 6.9, 7.0, somewhere around there. Usually don't lose much, but, you know, give you the final weight. But also, oh, also on that that uh, that solvent material compatibility thing, uh, it said that silicone and ethanol got an A rating, which means they don't interact at all. Um, I read the criteria for the test, and most of the tests like that. I'm not sure if this one actually had this process, but most of the tests use a test tube full of the solvent, and then they cut a small piece and submerge it into that solvent for anywhere from three days to a week. So, I mean, that's a little extreme. I don't, uh, I don't let a silicone baking mat sit in butane for a week. It, uh, not that I'm defending it. I mean, obviously, these people know better than I do. Be ignorant to say otherwise. But, I don't know. I think there are other factors. I'll stop blasting onto them just because they said so. But, uh, yeah, I'll give you a final weight when I scrape it all up or gather it all up, collect it all up.